Yay! Hi everyone, my name is Mitra. Welcome to Snow Eye Library's Storytime Snippets. First, we are going to sing a hello song, and after we are done, some of my friends are going to share some more songs, rhymes, and stories with you. So let's get started. So this song is called If You're Ready for a Story and it goes to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. It goes like this. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, wiggle your shoulders. If you're ready for a story, wiggle your shoulders. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, wiggle your shoulders. Good job, everyone. Have fun today. Bye. Hi, my name is Kendra. I work for Snow Isles Library on Wheels. And I want to share with you a song called Flea Fly Flow. Flea Fly Flow is one of those songs that has a whole bunch of made up words. And playing around with made up words helps us to learn about real words. So to help me sing our song, Dragon is here. Hi, Dragon. Oh, hello. Ready? Flea. Flea. Flea fly. Flea fly. Flea fly flow. Flea fly flow. Vista. Vista. Kumala. 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 Vista. Kumala. 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 Vista. No, 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 not the vista. No, 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 not the vista. Eeny, meeny, dessa, meeny, you walla, walla, meeny, eeny, meeny, dessa, meeny, you walla, walla, meeny. Excamini, squalla, meeny, you walla, walla. Excamini, squalla, meeny, you walla, walla. Beat, fiddly, oat, and dot, and be bob, squat, and dot, and cha. Beat, fiddly, oat, and dot, and be bob, squat, and dot, and cha. Do you like drawing with sidewalk chalk? Me too. Do you pretend like your drawings come to life? So do I. Well, I've got a great picture book for you to read. It's called Chalk by Bill Thomas. Hi, my name is Amanda, and the book I'm sharing today is about three children who go to the playground and find a bag of chalk, possibly because as they draw, their creations come to life. Let's take a look at one of my favorite pages. Oh, do you see what he is drawing? And then, if you would like to find out what happens next, come to your local library and check out the book Chalk by Bill Thomas. Hi there, my name is Christy and I have a story to share on my board. It's about a very special tree gnome in the forest named Jerome. And here he is. Jerome over the years had collected some fancy things. He had his favorite blue hat with a white puffball on top and a pair of glasses so he could see. Jerome also had some fancy diamond earrings and a red bow tie. And Jerome had his favorite fuzzy mittens, purple and pink, his very favorite colors. Jerome thought that all of his fancy treasures made him so special. And whenever the animals would ask Jerome to play, he would say, no, I'm much too busy being fancy to play. And the animals would leave and Jerome would be alone with his treasures. And then one day, a big windstorm came. Can you be the wind and blow really hard? Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh no, the wind 
windstorm blew away all of Jerome's treasures. He was so sad. One by one, the forest animals came to Jerome to check and see what was wrong. Why are you crying, Jerome? They said. Oh, the wind blew away all of my fancy treasures, and now I'm just boring old Jerome. I'm not special at all. The forest animals said, Jerome, you're still special, but we can help you find your fancy treasures. Okay, said Jerome. I'm missing my favorite blue hat with the white puffball on top. Hmm. The animals looked around the forest. Do you see the blue hat with the white puffball? Hmm, yeah, it's over up tall in this tree. Which animal do you think we should send to find the blue hat? How about the bird? The bird can fly high into the tree and grab the blue hat. Hooray! Jerome has his hat back. That's really great, says Jerome, but I'm also missing my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Do you see Jerome's glasses anywhere? Hmm. In the pond, yeah. Which animal do you think we should send into the pond to get the glasses? Maybe we should send the deer because the deer has long legs and they can wade into the pond. So the deer does just that and rescues the glasses. They look pretty good on the deer, but the deer brings the glasses back and gives them back to Jerome. Hooray, I can see again, says Jerome, but I also miss my beautiful diamond earrings. Do you see where Jerome's diamond earrings went? Hmm. Over here in this bush, right? Which animal do you think we should send into the bush? How about the fox? I know fox sometimes hide in bushes. So we send the fox. And the fox grabs the earrings for Jerome and brings them back. Oh, thank you ever so much, says Jerome. But I'm also missing my red bow tie. Do you see Jerome's bow tie anywhere? Hmm. Here in this bush, right? Which animal do you think we should send to get the bow tie? How about the raccoon? Raccoons like to go in bushes too. So the raccoon goes and grabs the bow tie. It looks very good on the raccoon. But they bring it back to Jerome. Hooray! This is really nice, says Jerome, but I'm still missing my very favorite fuzzy mittens. Do you see where the fuzzy mittens are? Here on the stump. Which animal do you think we should send to the stump? How about the chipmunk? They like being in trees, right? So the chipmunk runs to the stump and rescues the favorite fuzzy mittens and brings them back to Jerome. Hooray, says Jerome. Thank you ever so much for finding all of my fancy treasures. Now I'm special again. And the forest animal said, Jerome, all your fancy treasures don't make you special. You're special because you're our friend. Jerome was so happy. And from that day on, he played with all the forest animals. And sometimes he even let them borrow his fancy treasures. And that's the end of the story. Thank you so much for listening to the story with me today. I hope you have a great day. Bye. 
Hi everyone, I'm Ms. V from the Stanwood Library, and I'm dressed up like Mother Goose today because the song I'm going to share with you is from the time of Mother Goose. It's called Aiken Drum, and it has a lot of fun rhythms, so I hope you'll get ready to clap along with me, or if you have rhythm instruments, go get them and come back and you can play along. And parents, this song has a lot of rhythm and singing, and those are great for getting kids ready to read. I hope you enjoy. Oh, there was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Dick and Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. And he played upon a ladle, and his name was Dick and Drum. And his face was made of a salad bowl, a salad bowl, a salad bowl. And his face was made of a salad bowl, and his name was Dick and Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. And he played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his hair was made of celery, celery, celery. And his hair was made of celery, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. And he played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his eyes were made of carrots, carrots, carrots. And his eyes were made of carrots, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. And he played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his nose was made of a radish, a radish, a radish. His nose was made of a radish, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. And he played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his mouth was made of a tomato, tomato, tomato. And his mouth was made of tomato, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. And he played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his ears were made of cucumbers, cucumbers, cucumbers. And his ears were made of cucumbers, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle, and he played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. Well, this Aiken Drum salad looks delicious, and I think I'm going to just ladle a little of the salad dressing onto him. Mmm. And then let's see. Mmm. Crunchy. I hope you'll go make your own Aiken Drum salad and enjoy eating it as much as I did. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hello again. I hope you all had fun. Now it's time to say goodbye. Here's a goodbye song I'd like to share with you. It's called Boom Boom, See You Later Alligator. And it goes like this. So we start with a big alligator. Boom boom, see you later, later alligator. After a while, crocodile, goodbye for now. And then we make a medium sized alligator. Boom boom, see you later. Later alligator, after a while, crocodile, goodbye for now. And then we make a small alligator. Boom, boom, see you later. Later alligator, after a while, crocodile, goodbye for now. And then we make a teeny tiny alligator. Boom, boom, see you later. Later alligator. After a while, crocodile, goodbye for now. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time. Bye.